Hello again and welcome back to Legally Cited. This is Jesse here and I'm back for another iOS accessible game spotlight video and actually this time I'm going to be covering two games uh, or two apps in one video because they are pretty much they're very very similar in uh, functionality just that the content is a little bit different um, so I remember way way back when probably several years ago on the channel I covered a few text adventures and I think I even covered uh, some choice of games um, it's kind of a brand of these uh, choose your own text adventure games and this was back when I don't think they really had things consolidated back then so I don't even rem remember which one I uh, took a look at but <clears throat> I was uh, looking through the app store and I got a couple recommendations from uh, a couple friends of mine and um, there are a couple of apps that have consolidated if you like interactive fiction or you like uh, you know choice of uh, choice of games or text adventures those types of things um, there are a couple of apps and they are choice of games and hosted games and I think they're managed by the same company now but instead of having to go figure out where all of these things are and what's available and yada yada as separate applications they've kind of pooled them together into two different apps and the difference is the choice of games these are made by I think like I don't remember what the company is uh, that makes them but they are these uh, text adventures that are kind of being brought forward to iOS now hosted games seems to be more of like kind of like indie um, like individual developers that are like hey let's just make our own text adventure and rather than trying to put it on you know just sell it alone and have it get buried um, it is seems to be under the hosted banner so that's the way I understand things uh, as I've kind of looked into it a little bit. Uh, hopefully I got that right. But let's take a look here. Let's uh, choice of games. jump right in. We got choice of games. Choice of games. Store. Heading. So um, on the way this works is on the bottom. Tab bar. Selected. Store. Tab. We have store. Search. Tab. Two of four. Search. My library. Tab. My library. Settings. Tab. And four settings. Four. So... The one thing I do like is when you're in the games themselves, if you are low vision, they do have a dark theme that you can choose from when you're in the game itself. However, my one suggestion would be on both of these apps is that if you have the dark theme, have it apply to also the store page, like the rest of the app. Um, because you notice we still have a, a white background and the black text and things uh, on the store. So there is a dark theme, but it only applies to the games themselves. So if they could just, you know, add that to the rest of the app, that would be great. So Selected. Store. Tab. One of four. we're on the store page, and I'm going to crank up my computer volume just a tish here. There we go. Um, Notify me when a new game is available. Button. So typically... I have notifications in most apps, unless there's something like really crucial, you know, like where I have to get like payments for something or, you know, like maybe Lyft or something like that. I, I have notifications on, so I get those timely. Um, but for games and stuff, I don't think it's so important. So you can either have notifications on or off. This is just a little banner that says, hey, turn those on if you want to. Then you have kind of a highlighted section. Vampire, the masquerade, night road, link, image. Now this is involved. interesting. I did take a brief peek at this when I downloaded the app, and that's partly how I found out about these. Is that um, you remember me mentioning Vampire: The Masquerade Bloodlines, this first-person shooter RPG that came out right around a couple, like a, literally a couple days, I think, before uh, Half-Life Two. Um, and I really want to cover that on the channel at some point. Um, <clears throat> there is a choose your own uh, choice of adventure in that universe. So that is pretty cool. And I definitely want to take more of a look at that. We're going to take a quick peek at that here momentarily, but I'm going to flick to the right. Choice of the vampire. Link. Image. Okay, we've got another vampire one. 
Creme de la Creme, Link, Image, and Illustration. I don't remember what that one's about. Of Fate of the Storm Gods, Link, Image, Jolly Good, Cakes and Ale, Link, Image, mm -hmm. similar to Heading Level 1. Okay, so those are your banner items. And then you have similar to... For Rent, Haunted House, Heading Level 1. <clears> okay, so you got For Rent, Haunted House. Best selling, Heading Level 1, View All, Best Selling, Heading Level 1. Okay, Best Selling. So you have different categories, like Best Selling, uh, Most Popular... Best selling heading level one link similar to heading level best vampire. Let me just three scroll three. down a little bit. So two, two. there's really not a whole lot in here, but I mean you, uh, there's not a whole lot of categories. But what's cool is you can just go to the the see all and you can just peruse them. And then what I have done, like if you hear of search, one tab, that of uh, somebody recommends to you, you can do a search. And on this search page on the uh, you have. Order by best sell switch to detail view button. So order by best selling pop up button. Double tap to activate. The so banner. I even have filters. It's cool. Like uh, release date, best selling, whatever. I like that they're doing that. Vampire, the masquerade, night, add favored button, add favored button. Yeah. So all of these, you also have an add favorite button, um, which is how I've added a few things to my library because there are some games that are free. There are some games that are free to start, and then there and then there's like a in-app purchase to unlock the rest of them, and that's fair. You know, if you're reading a piece of fiction, you want to make sure that um, you know that it's a style that you like. Uh, you know, the subject matter might be good, but you know, you maybe just don't like the author's writing style or whatever. So if I go down to my library, my yeah. library tab, um, I've added just a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, in here that I haven't paid for any of them yet, but as I get into uh, playing some of them, there's a few that I definitely want to take uh, take a further look at, and I would not be opposed to paying for. So last played, heading level one. Last played, heading so, uh, level one. So last played. This is one I just took a very brief peek at. For rent, haunted house, heading level okay, two. Okay, so there's rent. that haunted house one. Add favored button. Favorites, heading level one. Remove favored button. Heroes rise, hero fall, heading level okay, two. Okay, heroes rent. rise, hero fall. Remove favored button. Heroes Rise, The Hero Project, Remove Favored Button, Choice of Zombies, Heading Level 2. Link. Okay, we got a Zombies one. Remove Favored Button. I wonder if Zombies was one of the ones I didn't cover earlier. I can't remember. I'd have to look at my... Uh, I'd have to look that up on my channel. Choice of a Ninja, Heading Level 2. Got Link. a Ninja-themed one. Remove Favored Button, Grand Academy for Future Villains, Heading Level 2. That Link. one sounds interesting. Get to be a super villain of some sort. Remove Favored, Choice of the Rockstar, Heading Level okay, 2. Okay, we get Link. to be a rock star. Plus seven more, Purchased, Heading Level 1. Okay, and then so purchase. All your purchased games will appear here. I don't have any purchase, but if I did, they would appear there, as I as I said. So purchase plus seven more button. So let's say plus seven Remove more. Favorite. Let's flick to the right again. Metal Human Incorporated heading level two. Okay, link. I forget what that one was, but Remove favorite button. I think that was like a techno, like a, a technology based one. Vampire the Masquerade. I think mode, there's two, so link. there's the vampire. Remove favored button. I cyborg heading level two. Okay, we got a cyborg one. Remove favored but choice of magics heading level two. Link. I've heard good things about this one. This is one that I got recommended to me. Remove favored button. Heroes rise. The prodigy. He Remove favored button. Choice of kung fu heading level okay, two. Okay, we got link. a kung fu purchased heading all of your purchased games. All right, so let's go Choi into the. Remove, Remove favored choice of magics heading. Remove favored I cyborg. Remove vampire the masquerade. Night I said we were going to go two. into vampire, so let's do My that. Library. So. So when you go to one of these pages, um, when you choose a game, you have a few different options. Vampire, The Masquerade, Night Road, by Kyle Marcus, button, remove favored, button, 4.7. There's your rating, 4.7. It's got a, a pretty high rating so far. Stars out of 5, 2,733. Okay. A lot of ratings. Ratings. Try now, button, purchase from $9.99, button. And you can purchase for 10 bucks. Which now these are not short, uh, short little text adventures. These suckers, some of these have, are are longer than full fledged novels. And you know, again, giving credit where credit is due. Like I can't even think. I I, I don't have a creative enough mind really to make one <laughs> single fiction book. Let alone thinking of like dozens and dozens of branching paths and making them connect and. A branch and and not be a cluttered catastrophe so i mean it definitely takes talent you know people are like oh that's so expensive you know like people are so adverse to paying for anything um no uh, writing i i get it um so 
Restart button. So I'm going to do, I'm going to probably do like a restart because we're just going to start from the beginning. Restore purchases button. And restore purchases. If you get a new device, of course, you can bring back your purchase. Now, the interesting thing about this the elders have entrusted you and lead them one, to deliver their secrets. Here's the deliver. Can you work on the hunters, the other drivers, and the rising sun? So there's the description. Read more button. Read more. Supernatural button. Comma. Fantasy but comma. Action button. Comma. Dark button. Separator dimmed. Word count, row header. Yeah, here you go. So you get a word count. 650,000, column two. That's a lot of words. Words, column, release date, row header, 2020, column two, sep, column two, 24, column two, table. And then there's a section for if there are any books or any games that are similar to it. So, you know, again, it's a really nice little package if you want to, like I said, sometimes I, I want to play a game, but I don't want to... Uh, look visually at a screen or anything, maybe just enjoy, enjoy some interactive fiction. These are a couple of great ways to do that. Um, and this is totally voiceover accessible, so it's cool there. Let's do restart. Button. Restart. Restart. Uh, start over from the beginning. Erase my game. Button. Cancel. But erase yeah, my we'll game. Yeah, we erase. Button. Details. Details. Back button. Okay, here we go. This game revolves around vampires, immortal, blood drinking, explorative, manipulative, murdering, self-destructive vampires. It tells a story that is meant to be monstrous, but do not mistake it for an excuse to be a monster yourself. Okay, fair enough. Reader discretion is advised. Cool. Next button. <laughs> Chapter 1, Just Getting By, Image. White text on the black background. Okay. Chapter 1, Arizona, I-10 heading west. Night of November 1st. Sunrise, 6, 41 a.m. You're getting ready to pass a diesel Mercedes when the shifter goes all loose. You jiggle the stick and pump the clutch, but it's like holding a dead man's hand. Your old Honda drifts off the highway in a cloud of sand and grit. A moment later the engine stalls. You pop the hood and fumble around in the back for a flashlight. Then you realize that it's getting light out. You can feel that this poor car, your companion for ten lonely years, is finished. And if you're still out here when the desert sun rises, so are you. Next, button. Okay. No choice yet to make. Cars fall apart. So do people. Okay, here so we go. Cars fall apart. So do people. So do phones. You pull out your old iPhone and check the time in the cracked screen. Six, five, eight. M. Unlike your poor Honda or the tattered air freshener hanging from your mirror, which used to hide the smell of dried blood, you'll last forever if you can find somewhere to hide before 6, 41, 8. M. You've been making these career runs for 10 years, each year making less than the last, hiding in trunks and storage units during the day, racing down the desert highways at night with messages and parcels on your passenger seat. It's because... Been it oh. felt like getting old, trapped in this body that can never age. Of course, I'm a vampire, and daylight is uh, generally not a good thing for vampires, so... Well, you're not bored now. You're even breathing again, short, frightened little breaths, as you watch the sky lighten in the east. Nerves you thought extinguished years ago fire up again, making your hands shake. You feel almost alive as you check under the hood. The cable clutch is fucked. No surprise there, maintenance hasn't been a possibility, let alone a priority. And when you look at the engine, you realize the problems run deeper than one busted cable. You've been ignoring the warning signs, like an old man who keeps coughing and won't go to the doctor, and the engine looks like... The engine looks like you're going to look in exactly you check your phone again, 16 minutes. Maybe there's still time. You look around Wait, at the what? The engine looks like you're going to look in exactly you check your phone again. 16 minutes. Oh, okay. It was just a kind of a weird trail off thing. Okay. Maybe there's still time. You look around at the dusty highway, the wasteland that stretches out to the black horizon in every direction, and try to recall your mortal life. Something you learned when you still drew breath must have the power to save you here. Okay. First, I want to turn on the stat check indicator, also known as storyteller mode. Radio button. Checked. One of five. So storyteller mode, this has a separate mode where it gives you... Um, some additional stats if you're new to this sort of uh, text adventure, sort of role playing esque kind of a game. I grew up poor working on cars. Let's see if I can get this engine running for just a few more minutes. Rip, I had lots of mortal friends, and I've kept in touch with some. They might have a good idea if I call one, or at least they can pull up a map on their phones and tell me which way to run. Radio button, unchecked, three of five. I served in the military. In addition to my combat training, I know how to hide and survive in a desert. Radio button, unchecked, 4 or 5. I got a good education, and I haven't let my knowledge stagnate now that I'm dead. I use my phone and some maps to figure out where to go. Radio button, unchecked, 5 or 5. Alright, so... I have different choices. Um, let's say that I want to... I'm going to be educated this time. Checked. So we're going to check that. Next button. Now, if I keep flicking... Ad icon, image. There is There are Next ads... Button. There's a little ad banner. To my knowledge, I don't think there is even like a small in-app purchase, like a even, let's say, a 99-cent purchase just to get rid of that ad banner uh, on the bottom of the screen. It's not intrusive. Um, it's just, you know, it's there. Um, 
but it's not going to throw like full screen ads in your face, which I am extremely thankful for. Next button. So let's go next. There are lots of maps in the glove compartment, and though your data there are lots of maps in the glove compartment, and though your data connection out here is terrible, you don't use GPS because you don't want to be tracked. You just need to see the maps. From them, you might be able to cobble together a picture of where you are and figure out which way to run. Okay. I got a business degree and learn how to act like I come from money. No. I tried to get through community college with the help of the Army Reserve. I ran out of money. I was supposed to study ecology in the Everglades, but I spent two years just wading through swamps racking up debt before I gave up. Hmm. I pursued a criminology degree, paying my way by chasing down bail skippers until I ran out of money. Radio button. Unchecked. Four or five. I studied computer science, dropped out, and discovered how good I was at computer crime. Radio button. Unchecked. Five or five. That sounds fun. Checked. Next button. You dig around in the glove compartment, finding only a few maps and an expired cliff bar to give you the appearance of life. Then you check under the seat, a broken folding knife, a Michigan ID of someone who looks sort of like you, some ninja rocks for breaking car windows, a rusty leatherman. Worthless. But if there's one thing you learned getting into trouble as a kid, it was when to walk away. The situation is fucked, and your car is now a death trap. Rather than wait to burn, you grab the satchel with your deliveries and head away from the highway, looking for anything that might save you from destruction, an old mine shaft, an abandoned shack, anything. The stars to the east are gone, replaced by a blue-purple haze. It's 6, 38. M. You remember the last time you saw this? Alright. 11 minutes to go. Next button. You were out of college and looking for work, spending all day on your laptop. You were out of college and looking for work, spending all day on your laptop or making calls. You had a job at a call center, another job at an olive garden, and you did some design work, but you were drowning in debt, desperate to put all your education to work. You remember your last day well. You drove to your call center job, found it bored up in a bunch of confused assholes just like you standing around outside, not knowing what to do. It was around 6, so you watched the sunset illuminate the grimy low rises and the cash for gold signs before shrugging and getting back in your car. It wouldn't start. So you got out and started wandering around with your phone up, looking for a signal. And that's when a shadow detached itself from beneath your car. When you rose again, burning with hunger and sticking with your own blood, your killer did not call you kindred, or canite, or vampire. First, you learned about your clan, your lineage, a bloodline that existed since before history, before all cities except one. Bullet, list start. Plans Vantru, Toreador, Gangrel, Bruja, and Banu Hakim are available at no additional charge. Okay, so this is one of the rare games. This is another reason that I wanted to cover this one in particular. Most games, you just buy the game outright and you get the game. You get the rest of the unlock. This one, you get a full story, but there are extra DLCs that you can get that add different clans because you remember... You know, it's not just like, oh, I'm going to choose my uh, affinity here. I'm going to choose which clan I belong to. You know, each one of these are, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of knowledge on the whole Masquerade universe, but I've played, you know, just have having played um, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines many, many years ago now, um, you know, I remember there are different clans and society and even the vampire lineage, they look upon these different clans differently. So like the Nosferatu are kind of not really, uh, they're, they're not liked. And there's like the Anarchs. Um, I can't even remember. There's so many, like I said, my, if you are familiar with, or want to become familiar with the, uh, vampire universe, um, this is probably an interesting way, uh, way to start maybe. Um, so you have some that are free, Bullet. Clan tree mirror and the clanless cave are available as part of the usurpers and outcasts in app purchase. So you do have that. Bullet. Clans Hekata, Ravnos, Los Obra, Nosferatu, and the Ministry are available as part of the secrets and shadows in app purchase. Listen. Yeah, so there's at least a couple of these now, and I only recognize like maybe two of those. I don't even know what most of these clans are. Your killer said you belong to Clan Vantru, the Clan of Kings, Monarchs of the Night, Masters of Dreadful Mental Powers, and Rulers of the Undead World. Radio hmm. button. Checked. What? Clan tree mirror. Scholars, conspirators, and blood sorcerers. Requires usurpers and outcasts and out purchase. Radio plan. So that one tells you. Requires usurpers and outcasts and out purchase. Clan Toreador. Artists, seducers, philosophers of sensation and manipulation. Radio button. Unchecked. Three of twelve. Nah. Wow, clan there's Gangle. a lot of them. Half corpse, half animal, undead shapeshifters and beast masters. Radio button. Unchecked. Four of twelve. That would be kind of cool. Clan Bruja. Once a clan of philosopher kings, now punks, outcasts, and would-be revolutionaries. Radio button, uncheck, 5 of 12. So, uh, you know, this gives you an idea. I'm just going to stop this game here because... Uh, Details, back button. So let's go back. Details. And now we're back on the button. screen where uh, I just clicked in the upper left. And now... Purchase from $9.99 button. Now, I wonder if this is going to... Try now. Purchase I'm trying to remember. In progress. Purchase, let's see. Buy it now for $9.99. Okay, button. right. So we have... This is the main game. Secrets and Shadows. 
But then there's also a DLC for this one that adds a whole new like story chapter in addition to these different clans that you can get. So Secrets and Shadows unlocks five new clans, a new discipline, and two sets of variant powers to explore. Okay. Five, Secrets and Shadows unlocks five new clans, a new discipline, and two sets of variant powers. Bullet, list start. The monstrously deformed information brokers of clan Nosferatu. So let's Page go down three. some more. I just want to cruise here. Finally, uncover the treasures and horrors of a whole new mission. The feather of a powerful ghost has just gone up for auction. So right, this one actually comes with a different mission. So, I mean, like I said, clearly they've put a lot of effort into this. And that's what you have to recognize. You know, you're buying this once. You're not paying for in-app in, uh, in purchases for, like, um, usable currencies or gems or anything like that. You buy it, you own it, and then you can play. You can restart it and play however many times you want, getting all the different uh, permutations of the story. All that kind of a stuff. So, like I said, I'm not opposed to, and a matter of fact, I kind of like this because I can get a, I can get an idea of the writing style that the author will use for each one of these stories. If I like it, then I can go buy it. So this is one of the rare ones that I've seen that has a lot of other uh, purchase options. Let's go back. Details, back button. Um, so you, you have a few different options. Library, Let's go back, back my library, again. Back button, my library, back button, my library. We'll go back. Um, remove favored, but remove favored, but choice of magics, heading level two. So let's link. go to choice of magics really choice. fast. My library, choice of magics, by Kevin Gold, but remove favored, button 4.8. This one got even better than the vampire one. Stars out of five. 1437, ratings, try now, button. So let's go into it really In briefly. Progress. Details, back button, choice of magics, image, next, button. Chapter 1, The Lost Academy, Image. Uh, you push yourself out the window of an ancient classroom, clutching a musty tome of Ivamancy magic, and land with a roll on the cobblestone path below. Above you, it seems to be night, and you're momentarily confused. How are you seeing stars, when stars have been obscured by clouds for over 2,000 years? But then you realize the twinkling lights must be flecks of quartz in the rocky ceiling above, reflecting the light of the magical street lamps below. Those street lamps continue to shine even when the neighbor's magic pulled this academy underground. They shone underground, while above ground, Abrix has walked the earth and declared that magic was forbidden. They eliminated this ancient place of learning, while everywhere else, wizards were put to the sword. So, I'm not going to go into any of these that much, just because, like I said, I'm, it's going to take a long time to get anywhere in these stories. But I just want to basically prove to you guys that this app is really, it's efficient, it's accessible, like, I have no problem getting around it with voiceover uh, whatsoever, all the stories, the store, the in-app purchases, everything seems to work. I can even My use the two-finger scrub gesture to go back. And, you know, a lot of a lot of games and apps don't even support that. So um, that is your choice of games. Um, but I, I'm going to really choice briefly of, show you hosted games. Hosted games. Store heading. And if you're looking at this visually, it should look very familiar. You got your notification at Notifying the top. The new game is available. Keeper of the day and night, link. Image, Keeper of the day and night, we've got our moon. highlights here. Keeper of the sun and moon, link. Zombie Exodus, safe haven, link. Image, wave haven chronicles, book two, link. Image, so let's say that I wanted to hear about this safe zombie haven, exodus link. one. Let's go there. Store, back Boy, this looks awful familiar, doesn't it? we got the same basic page layout. we got a picture. Zombie exodus, button, series. Zombie exodus, safe haven, heading level one. Okay, so this one actually there are series. I don't even know which one is first. I wonder if it'll tell me. Remove favored, button, 4.8. Stars out of five. Okay, good rating. 5,056. Ratings. Ooh, a lot of ratings for this one. Try now. Button. Purchase from $4.99. Button. So this one's only four. Let's just... I just want to look and see... Buy it now for three... If you've already purchased, click here to... Uh, Buy it now for four dollars. Buy it now for three dollars and ninety-nine. Unlock the second part of... Zombie Exodus. Oh. Get 25 bonus skill points at the start of the game. Oh, interesting. So there are... Hey, some two, of them... Two. If you've already purchased, click attribute point bonus. Okay, so you can actually buy kind of a starting perks, but, you know, this isn't any different. I've even seen console, like, AAA games say, like, oh, hey, you want an experience boost we're going to give you, or you, we're going to start you with another, uh, like, sometimes you get a pre-order bonus, or there'll be, like, a small purchase of, like, oh, you get, um, like, an XP boost for a certain amount of time, or extra money in the game, um... I'm not too into that myself, but, you know, if if it's something you want to do, you can do. So, try now, button. so let's try now. In progress. 
Enable 20 extra attribute points. Radio button. Uncheck. Oh, wait, what? Play the game from the beginning. For players of Zombie Exodus, click here for your reward. Radio button. Uncheck. 206. Oh, okay. So maybe I won't do this one because... Yeah, this is part of a series, and this is not one of the. Fr this is not the first one in the series, but. Enable twenty extra tribute points. Radio button uncheck. Enable twenty five extra skill points. Radio play part two requires purchase of part one. Dimmed radio button uncheck. Right. Uncheck. Okay. So. Store. Back button. Let's try it. Let's go into my store. library Heading. here. So we're on the tab bottom. Button. Selected store tab. Store one, four, search tab. My library tab. Settings tab. And four, settings. Four. I'm gonna go into settings really fast because I think I haven't changed the theme. On this one, registration heading sign in button to restore purchases from choiceofgames.com. Notify me when the new game is a display heading level cap A one fifty percent cap A white radio button sepia radio button black radio button. Bu okay, Check. we go black and you see the little uh, text example down below. It changes so that tells you that we're good. Bar, Let's go library. back to my library here. Last played. Heading There's my one. last played. Zombie Exodus. Remove favored. Favorites. Head. Remove favored. Zombie Exodus. Remove favored. Zombie Exodus. Head. Remove favored. Tin Star. Heading level two. Purchased. He All of your purchased games will appear here. Purchase. Tin Star. Heading so level Tin two. Link. Star. I've heard Tin this is another one that somebody said was really button. good. Tin Star. Head by. Alan Keys. Button. Remove favored. Button. Four point nine. Oh, this one got a super good rating. Stars out of five. Eight hundred twenty-two. Eh, not as many ratings, but hey, still that's still high. Ratings. Try now. Let's button. try it. Dawn creeps steadily towards the sleepy city of San Francisco. A host of ships lie at anchor with their sails furled as they bob in the bay. You turn from the ocean view as you reach the top of the stairs and find white tufts of woolly sheep drifting up the lush green hillsides to the east. I don't even remember what this one was about. Um, we could go look at the description really quick in a moment, but... Sunlight slowly broaches the uncluttered mountains until a golden sheen illuminates a crown of glory against an endless blue sky. Down below, the creak of metal rim wheels rises up as the city awakens to a chorus of horses and carts. A hint of rain hangs heavy in the air and promises to wash every corner of the sprawling expanse clean. A fine morning, or it would be if not for the impatient whisk of a hangman's noose. Oh, okay. Uh huh. So am I the one being hung? Is that the way this, <clears throat> the way that this is going to start? Um, but let's go back and actually look at because I don't remember what this is about. Let's look at the My description library, here. Button, ride out into the old west as a you. Ah. Marshall, confront outlaws, find romance, challenge Indians, defy the elements and craft an enduring legend as you uncover a conspiracy whose deadly web stretches from San Francisco to New York City. Okay, yeah, well, that, yeah, the hangman's noose sort of a thing. That's a, a common Wild West thing. So, I mean, I, like I said, I'm not really going to go into a lot of different games here. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you around both of these apps a little bit. Like I said, the interface is pretty much identical for each one. Uh, let's go into... Purchase $4.99. So, purchase $4.99. Alert, double click, double click to pay. Oh, okay. So this one just says, okay, there's no other uh, app purchases. It just brings me to my Apple Pay, my Face ID thing. Um, I'm going to cancel out of that for now. But yeah, so some of them, like I said, some of them are totally free. Um, some of them have just the one purchase, like this Wild West one. <clears throat> some of them have extra... Uh, content and story add-ons that you can get, or even perks, uh, different clansmen in the Vampire Bloodlines K or Vampire case. Uh, so there's a lot of variety. You know, you have loads and loads of different stories and uh, you know different genres, shall we say. So if you want to be a rock star, you want to be a, a cowboy, you want to be a cyborg. A vampire, ninja, whatever, you know, there's all kinds of different things. And the nice thing is you don't have to go hunting the app store for specific um, individual uh, apps. Uh, I love how accessible this these two apps are. And I am definitely going to be keeping these on my phone because there are times where something like this would just be, you know, the perfect thing. So that is the choice of games and hosted games. Hosted game. um, games, and they are available on the App Store. You can get both of them for free, and then of course in-app purchases for any games you are interested in playing. But um, yeah, when I get some time, I'm definitely gonna try to dive into these more. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. You can also follow me on Twitter at BGFH79.
twitch.tv slash illegally cited, youtube.com slash illegally cited right here, and illegally cited.com. So uh, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll chat with you guys again later.